Hello and welcome to episode one of my No Man's Sky tutorial let's play series. This first episode will be on for those of you out there that are having problems starting No Man's Sky in Steam. Um, what can I say? I've my biggest problem I've got is where I I'm currently living. My internet is just a joke. It's just very very slow but you know having said that got woke up eight o'clock this morning and uh, left it downloading overnight which is what I find the best thing to do when you're dealing with a two and a half gig download anyway so it downloaded and I run it and when I run it to uh, No Man's Sky launched and abruptly closed after a couple of seconds so it begs the question what was the problem well in my case and this may not be the same for all of you but I got No Man's Sky working it took um, a lot of messing around it took two hours for me to get it working but that's 90% of that time was just for the fact that of my internet being so slow because I had to download um, the OpenGL driver and also I updated my driver for my NVIDIA card so that's all what the time was that took me so long but anyway I now want to hopefully for those of you that have had problems run you through the steps I did to get No Man's Sky working uh, I know it won't probably help all of you um, but I will try to add some additional information to help those with other issues within the uh, configuration file. Anyway, so let's take a look. Step one, check you meet the minimum specifications as listed on the No Man's Skies um, uh, page that they've listed down. You'll see, and it says on the Steam page. Next, step two, install OpenGL 4.5. Don't do anything else until you have done this the game requires this you will not the game will not work until this is done um, I believe one of the biggest problems of the launch of No Man's Sky is this was not highlighted enough um, it simply wasn't this should have been put on the Steam store page in big capital red letters make sure you install OpenGL 4.5 anyway so this is where you find it okay step three next you need to once you've installed that OpenGL next you need to open this file tkgraphicssettings.mxml this is where you will find it unless you've switched it to a different drive I have mine on my F drive so I'd put an F in there but by default that's the location you're looking at go browse to that location on your computer using Windows Explorer when you find the file right click on it it will bring up this sub menu and left click the option open with uh, and then you should see this Okay, so your computer's not going to know what to open it with. Make sure you choose Notepad. Okay. Next, once you have the file open, you are looking for the option, as seen here, where it says full screen in brackets. After that, you see value equals, and it will say true by default. Change it to false, so it looks just like this okay now that's the steps I had to take to get mine working I mean um, the OpenGL I didn't do first of all okay so I was in here trying out all different settings and options and none of them none of them done any difference so I put them all back to default okay I did my OpenGL then I uh, I kept this false option because I noticed straight away that that did improve uh, it run the game for an extra two seconds okay but something else important for you to check for those of you who changed that to false and it still don't work make sure you check your max frame rate okay now mine is 30 
and 30 works for me but for some of you it may be 60 if it is change it to 60 something else to pay heed to your resolution mine is I'm running mine through my telly so my resolution is 920 by 1080 that is something crucial as well make sure your your resolution is the same as this so if you have a different resolution to what it says in here change what it says in here to match your resolution how do you find your resolution right click on your desktop and choose resolution now I'm using Windows 7 so I'm not sure if this will be the same in Windows 10 I'm hoping it is for all the operating systems um, as all as I can do is tell you that I've gone through these steps and I'm now about about to well I have launched No Man's Sky I have went into it and had a quick look but I've realized um, I've seen on the store page Steam how many negative reviews there are that to me is just people that need help okay don't go negative stay positive and you will get this fixed and you will be playing this game real soon trust me okay uh, the game works so don't worry about that we just need to make sure you do the necessary installs and change this okay so that being said wherever you are in the galaxy God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you can now play No Man's Sky. See you in episode two. Goodbye.